What's up, guys? This is Dion Summers, and you're watching CCP Podcast. But look, y'all already know what time it is. It's summertime, and it's not changing anytime soon. Number two, John, you have a have a thing for Mr. Cruel, uh, so I, I do, I, I I do, and I have a I have even more of a thing since we've talked to several people, um, and I've seen more stuff from him on Twitter. You know, this the man's character work is terrifying, absolutely a, a fucking monster, um, but behind the scenes. Absolutely, Teddy Bear, builder of superstars and a friend in the ring for those who have claimed the industry as their own. I, it makes me happy to hear that there are guys like that out there, and, and I'm glad that this is one of my favorites. Yep, uh, this is for the IW, uh, the, what the what is it, the Independent Wrestling Network uh, Heavyweight Championship. Uh, this is Cruel defending against Billy Brash, and this is, again, all these videos are courtesy of IWE Pro on uh, YouTube, guys, so go over and smash that subscribe go button. look them up. Hit that little button. You know how to do it. Do the thing. Uh, let's get started in three, two, one, play. <laughs> Okay. We got three belts in this ring. Two of them are on the line. This is our first look at Brash. I love that mask. Do I love it too? There's a reason I picked it. He's got a few others that are really good too. Brash has to know that he is not winning this strongman style. Nah, he's going to get muscled straight back by Cruel. He's got that size, the leverage. There it is. Oof. Yeah. Just steps to the side and lets him use his own, use his own force and his own momentum. But John, I gotta agree with you with something that you were saying a minute ago. Like in a very in, in wrestling, professional wrestling, it's very cutthroat. And in a and in a cutthroat a cutthroat game, uh, to know that there are guys out there that are building stars, that are putting in words, you know, here and there for people that earn it, that earn the respect. It's not given; it's earned. Uh, it's good to see. It's good to hear. I think we uh, we were talking to Bryce about that. Yep. A little Easter egg uh, from the Bryce Cannon episode of Beyond the Bell. Cruel, someone else I'd love to talk to. Oh, dude. I don't even know how that would work, but yes, 100%. Oh, man, I'd have to do that one without you. You'd fangirl too much. That, I would be so pissed. Well. Yeah. I guess that kick over the top rope there after the headstand in the corner. Big shoulder tire. I didn't think he was going to take him down. 
Dude, I was concerned, and he proved me very wrong. He absolutely flew right through him. Unbelievable. He's got the big man rocked right now. Oh. Cruel blocked for the top, and he went low. Oh, big boot over the top rope. Sends him to the floor. Oof. Oh, cruel eating that knee. Oh, I was about to say, the outside oh. is not the place you want to be with cruel. God. Cruel yeah, the outside is not where you want to be with Cruel. The safety of the ring is your best bet. Mm. Just stalking him here on the floor. Brash taking some desperate shots. Oh, we ate oh. that one. That it didn't matter. <laughs> How's that jaw feeling, bud? That was a yeah. That was a three course meal right there. Cruel rolls Brash back into the ring and follows him in. him with that clothesline there. Cruel's just having his way with him. That choke slam on the apron, it's been all downhill for Brash. I mean, even with the few glimmers of, of offense that he's had, he is having a rough time of keeping Cruel in a dazed state to do any kind of damage. Well, he may have just opened up uh, an opportunity here. Sidestep Cruel, and he's, he's taking the offense. But he's going to have to do something to keep the big man down for a few minutes. I don't know if trading punches is going to do it, though. No, I, I definitely don't think so. Oh! Not for Brash, at least. Oh! Fucking countered. Oh. Brash is in a very dangerous place here. Yeah, he is. I'm 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 not liking his situation right now. To be I fair don't though. I'm not liking his situation either. I don't I don't like anybody's situation if they're standing across the ring from fucking cruel. That's probably not the best way to spend a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday night. And then choosing to go for the, oh. the chops. Oh, see, Cruel just he absorbs three or four to give one, and the one that he gives is the one that fucking mattered. Dropped him. Oh, choke slam into the backbreaker. Oh. I'll give Brass credit. He's still trying. He's he's not giving up. He's his he's got that that fighting spirit. I like that knee strike. But I wonder how long that holds up. To be fair. Well, he needed the breather, and he's getting it. But it's is it enough? Nah, man. It's Cruel's beating him to his feet right now. Oh. And 
now we're slugging it out. This, yeah, no, this is not where Brash wants to be. Billy, Billy, listen. Oh, L listen, you, you can throw a few blows, you can have a great time, but Cruel is going to pummel you into a puddle if you stand in there. Mm. Yeah, as I was saying, out of the way. Uh-oh. Gets the Larry in the corner over the top. Oh, slingshot cutter outside in. Nice cutter, yep. I like that. Definitely gives him a minute. He needs that time. Oh, no. It did not give him a minute. He still needs that time. Oh! Shout out Super Joe. We see you in chat. Oh, he pulled the win. I mean, he face planted him pretty, pretty fucking hard. I think this this was just doomed for Billy Brash off the start. He had his moments, but but Cruel's just he, a... he had moments, but he just couldn't capitalize. Hey man, no problem. That's Super kinda... Joe, we appreciate you guys having things to spotlight. Yep, facts. Tell you like we told Mr. Fields last night, man. Like it's uh. It's if this is the best that we can do to show our support for independent wrestling, then that is what we're gonna do. You guys put the content out there. We're just trying to do our part. Oh, uh, I feel like this guy. I'm is, not sure who this guy is, but he has definitely got a name tag on him now, and Cruel's gonna take advantage of that at some point. I'm sure of it. Oh, he just whacked him in the head. Ooh. James Ryan, OMG. He's trying to make a statement at Cruel's expense here, man. I don't know how well that's going to work out for him. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that that's a wise decision. I mean, I get the idea behind it, but man, you could have picked anybody else. Oh, Jason Voorhees uh, ain't got shit on him. You heard the man. I mean, I heard him. I feel like you're mistaken. 